What is going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. I know you guys have really liked these tutorials um, because that's why I keep making them and I won't stop uh, because you guys seem to really like them and especially with the new 10.3 update even though a lot of you guys have uh, or don't really like uh, this version of Final Cut Pro 10 but don't worry I'm gonna show you guys some new cool tricks um, that I haven't showed you yet and that is film grain. Now, if you guys don't know what film grain is, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a quick little uh, example of what film grain is. So this is, um, of course, the very famous um, Black Beetle song by Ray Shremard and Gucci Mane. Now, you can see that there's this film grain right here, as you can see. And it adds a really nice kind of style to the video, like a nice texture, especially right here. You can see that. Now, it's a little bit difficult to get this exact look because this was obviously made in Premiere um, I can just tell but uh, you could easily replicate this with Final Cut Pro 10 and I'm gonna show you guys that right now so it also adds like a like a the walking dead kind of effect so of course this video is color graded as you can see here I just added a color correction and I'm gonna show you guys that in another tutorial but if you guys want a color grading tutorial with this new version please leave a like that would be awesome or just comment down so this is what we have before okay and I'm gonna show you guys how to add the film grain so you want to go on to the effects so it's this button right here now and uh, you want to go or actually it's uh this button right here next to the transitions I don't know why they made it look different but whatever so go on to the uh, effects and then there's installed effects Go ahead and make sure that you're on the all video and audio. Go ahead and type in film grain. So film grain, right there it is. So drag that onto your video. First, it's gonna look orange, kind of yellow, and that is because we have the style set to iMovie grain because in, in uh, iMovie it makes, it kind of color grades the video for you somehow. So we don't really want that. We want the realistic grain. And now you can start to see some, some grain in the footage, especially right here. So, the amount is right now it keeps it at 100 uh, so you can go all the way to 100 and this is what it looks like uh, maximum but if it's too much you can lower it like around 45 would be good too as you can see there and that looks still really really good so it's really up to you of how you want to do this so now if you want to add a double like if you want this strength to be stronger, you can go ahead and actually um, just make a copy of this. So what you want to go ahead and do is just drag this again on there. And then you want to change this to realistic grain. So now it has double the amount of uh, film grain. Of course, that's not going to look too good. So you want to go ahead and delete it. And this is what we got. So I know it's a really like simple and short thing to do with Final Cut Pro. But you can do a whole lot with this. Of course, they even gave you... Um, a keyframe so if you want to add like a keyframe from here to there you can do that so let me show you guys how to do that so select your footage okay we'll just start it at zero okay and we're gonna add a keyframe then we're gonna move the time head to the end and we're gonna increase that to 100 so now if you play this it will gradually add film grain as you can see that so that is really nice that's a nice feature that they added so so if you found this video helpful in any way please Leave a rating below. That will be much appreciated. Comment down what you guys want to see next. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.